starting. Um, we're doing a school project for Chase. This is Chase. Hi. <laughs> Chase is 12 now. I don't know how that happened, but he is. This is cousin Jaheem. Hi. Today we're making a 3D model of the solar system. We have gotten a couple materials that we're going to show you. So we got poster board, um, a piece of Bristol board, and we have, we're using foam balls to make uh, the planets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label the planets. We have, we have the sun. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and all the planets here with the size of them. We're gonna we're gonna get the size of the ball, um, the foam ball based on the general size of the planet, and let it come down based on size. So we're gonna get started now with labeling. So what we decided, guys? Sun. This is the second biggest, which is Jupiter. So let's get started labeling so you'll know how we're gonna color it. We're finished labeling the planets and the sun. Now we're gonna go about coloring and designing how we want the planets to actually look. So we have a lovely addition. This is Chase's other friend, Nathaniel, who just joined us. Say hi, Nathaniel. So I'm gonna put each, each planet is gonna go on a stick, like this, color it, and then you're gonna stick it in here so it'll dry. We're gonna build the base for our 3D model now. So I purchased two um, two pieces of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. No, like I purchased two pieces of. Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Come here. So we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut the foam board. We're gonna try to do something interesting because what we want to do, since the Earth orbits around the Sun and all the planets, we're gonna try to create that orbit with a fidget spinner, right? Which is kind of cool, you know, because it's fidgets for all the crates. So I'm, I don't want the boys using this craft knife, so I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna also use a, a piece of letter size paper, right? So we're gonna put this. Now we're gonna see if this fidget spinner idea works. If it doesn't, then I have another idea for it, we'll see. But I really hope it works because it, it will cool. spin so nice, yeah. It, it would be cool, I wouldn't it? Right. So now we have pretty much everything that we need to use. First, we're gonna cover this here. So we're gonna put the top like this. So yeah, we're gonna put some glue all over here. So we have two pieces of foam board covered in black for the night sky. We're gonna try to find the middle of this piece so we can stick the fidget spinner onto here. So this is something we're trying because we're not sure if it'll work. We're hoping it works, right? So I'm, I'm measuring from one side to the next and then marking it so that I get this X and X would mark this spot where we're gonna stick this <coughs> down like so. Yeah? All right, boys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, boys? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Totally. 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 So the glue, so your boys, you all know the rules of the glue gun? Don't yeah. touch it. Right, because you will get <laughs> very bad. Like, 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 oh, <laughs> so we need a piece of paper. We need a piece of this. It's cooking. You're seeing everything in the You are so idle. Listen, yeah, these boys are so idle. Do not burn the pill out. Do not burn the pill out. Go Cut this out. I'm just gonna short hand sketch it out and see if it'll work to leave a space for the fidget spinner. Looks great. 
Don't <laughs> chase! <laughs> Listen, this has to be the most fun project I've worked on in quite some time. All right, so I brought it a little closer so I could show you exactly what I did. As I said, I'm going to be using a fidget spinner. Oh, if you know how a fidget spinner works, you have to hold the top and the bottom and then you spin this part. So in order to make, to have something on top and something at the bottom, one part has to be stuck on to the outside, which is the spinning part, and one part has to be stuck onto the top, which will be the stationary part. I want the outside to be my stationary part. So I created this unit, which I'm gonna stick this onto, like this. And then it still moves all the way, see? I can still get this to move. So I'm now I'm gonna stick this onto here, and let's hope it works. So I'm gonna put four dots of glue. All right, onto here like so, and we're gonna leave this and let it dry. See, now I have a stationary part, and now this still spins, right? So I'm bringing the base now, right? So this and this. So now we're gonna stick. See how this is moving? We're gonna stick this. I'm hoping we can stick this onto this and then it will move and then we'll stick this on that right let's see if it'll work so you're gonna have right see, don't me guys don't me <laughs> thank you crazy boys <laughs> oh look at it works you see yeah see, <laughs> see guys i know so james you said then would what <laughs> I said it would have worked. Right, so we're gonna wait for it to dry. I'm buying one of those. So now I'm going to find the middle of this big piece of paper by using my very long ruler. I have X that marks the spot here. I'm going to put some glue now. And we're gonna center this around. You also you want cake? This here. <clears throat> Look guys. Okay, I have to put it. So it's working. Yeah. See? Oh, I'm going to put it working like a little bit. Okay guys, so um so the thing is that we finished the project, but look what's happening. So it's tipping and tipping. So what I'm gonna work on, um, the boys are busy finishing their presentation for the project. So I'm just gonna make this a little more sturdy for them um, while they finish that. And then everybody's gonna come back together and put everything together. So I'm gonna use some pieces of foam board. I'm gonna stack them one, two, three, and put them around the like on these four corners. So you see your tip in on one side so that it will sort of bolster it and lift it up and make sure it's a little more sturdy. Right? So I'm going to do that now. Right? So just like this. Okay, so I'm going to install them now and see how it goes. Um, so obviously we're putting glue only at the bottom to stick it down so that it slides across the top. So if you see now, what I did was I put some bolster pieces so now there's no leaning. Now it's spinning and it's spinning. See how nice that's spinning? So we've solved the wobble and now it's the fun part, you know, I always call this the fun part. It's where we get to put everything together. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick the sun to the middle of it like this. And then, and then we're going to stick each of the planets out of the sun. So if Mercury is closest to the sun, that means we cut that two inches because then we'll get it stuck in at one inch, you understand? And what's the next one? Venus is the next closest one. Venus will be two inches away if it's the third one. That's so which means that's three inches away, right? So it will be three inches away. What I had the 
boys do. They colored all the sticks black. You see how it, the line kind of disappears? So it looks like, you see how you almost don't see it because it's black? So that would look really cute. We're gonna make points every, because this is 18 inches around. So you're gonna make points every two inches for the to stick in all the planets. So I'm gonna cut the piece down a little bit so we know where we're gonna stick them in from. <laughs> this is very excited. Yeah, it's three time. times. Right. Some lights to the sun. Right. So now the sun can be bright and illuminated. I wonder if we could take off this light so that they could see. See? So it looks like an actual sun. We are so excited about this project. We made teeny tiny little name labels. Um, um, we made two in each. And we're going to put it in the middle of a toothpick like this. And then we're going to stick it at the top of the planet, right? And stick it straight to the top, yeah. Straight to the top, straight over there. How cute does that look with the little name on it? It's see going on with the name on it. So we're going to continue making all the labels. And we did a whole bunch of stars. We're going to take all the stars and stick them all over the universe here. guys so we're done um, we didn't want to put too many stars so it would look too um, like jumbled so it looks perfect with so all these stars great. it looks really great right just to let you know how we did the lights um, these are actually fairy lights I got from Amazon um, you simply pull this part out and once you put out lights either blink slowly quickly or they stay still and I put a dot of glue here and stuck it down to the base and then Chase and I wrapped the light around and you can see it's very easy these lights is, is just to unwrap like this right so it's a string of lights like this so Chase and I wrapped the lights around and you can see the dots of glue that we used to stick them down um, and I'm gonna show you how it looks right when it's very dark now See how amazing that looks? It looks really amazing with the lights. <laughs> 